Hello everyone! If you've purchased one of my decals, this is the instructional video on how to apply it to the surface of your choice. In this case, I will be using one of my heavy glass mugs. You can apply this to almost anything. Um, just remember that it is permanent vinyl, so it's not going to come off easily. And, you know, if you put it on a painted surface, you know, you could lift the paint and all that sort of stuff. So, just be wary of that. I, if you're going to put it on a car, I would suggest make sure you put it on the glass window and not your actual paint of the car and all that jazz. So, to start, you will need your decal, your surface of choice, rubbing alcohol, a burnishing tool of some sort, a credit card works perfectly fine for this as well, anything that's hard and thin that you can rub down your decal and transfer tape with, and you may need a pair of scissors as well. In this case, especially on this very curved surface, um, I do like to do this in two separate applications because it's sometimes difficult to manipulate the decal around the curve and to keep it straight, so I do like to cut this out and do it in two sections, but that's totally up to you. Um, I would recommend doing this if it is a curved surface like this. If you're doing it on a car window or something like that, a piece of glass or a frame, um, you should be fine with the whole decal, but I will leave that up to you. The first thing you want to do is start off with a clean and dry mug. Make sure you wash this soap and water and make sure it is completely dry before you start. It's very important that it's dry and does not have any residue on it. Which is, brings me to the next step is the alcohol, the rubbing alcohol. The first thing you want to do, I actually went and got my new bottle of alcohol because I didn't want any contaminants in it of any sort. So this is my clean alcohol. And, you know, put some paper towel or something that's not going to shed any uh, fibers or anything. And you want to wipe down the entire area of where you're going to apply your decal. This is very, very important. Um, this will assure that there is good adhesion between the decal and the glass and prevent it from peeling and easily lifting and stuff like that. So you want to make sure you wipe it down real good. And one more for good measure. And now just let that dry. And again, make sure that is completely dry before you apply anything to it. The next thing you want to do is take your decal. If you purchase your decal from me, it will already have the clear transfer sheet uh, attached and burnished on there. Uh, if it's not for some reason, or if you buy it from somewhere where it's separate, all you have to do is peel off the clear sheet from the transfer paper, place it on top of your decal, take your burnishing tool, and rub that down. That will stick the vinyl to the transfer sheet, so it all comes up in one thing and stays together. Um, if you're peeling it up and it's not attached for some reason, just place it back down, rub it a little bit, and peel it back up again. As soon as you see something lift, not lifting with the transfer tape, you want to put that tape back down and try and get it stuck to that tape because, you know, it's not going to end up in place if you go too far and stick it to somewhere else. I will do my best to make sure it's completely attached, so all you have to do is peel it up, but that's hard to tell and, you know, you may need to do some finessing and things like that, especially with a very intricate design like this. All right, now here comes the next step. This is where it gets a little nerve-wracking. Uh, this is where you're going to start peeling up that clear transfer tape. Make sure again that the vinyl is attached to the transfer tape as it's coming up. Actually, you know what? I will zoom in so you can maybe see what I'm doing better. There we go. This is probably easier to see. So what I'm going to do now is start peeling up this clear transfer tape and making sure that the vinyl is all stuck to the transfer tape and that nothing is remaining on the paper. If that happens, this actually looks like it's pretty good. If that happens and you see something still attached here on the paper, just press this back down, rub it good, and try and get that stuck to the clear tape as it comes up. And just do this very slowly and carefully to make sure you get everything and that it does not stick to itself. That is another thing you want to make sure. Be very careful 
to not let it stick to itself. Again, it's permanent. As soon as that happens, it's going to be stuck to itself and ruined. It's going to be very difficult to get apart again. Here's another version here where it shows you what I'm talking about when it peels and doesn't take up the uh, vinyl with it. So you just want to lay it back down, scrub that in, and if it's still not lifting, what I like to do sometimes is actually remove the back rather than remove the uh, transfer tape. So what I mean is, kind of like a sticker, you remove the back part until it sticks onto the piece. It's going to be the most difficult around the detailed areas like this. It takes a little finessing and back and forth to kind of get it to come up. Usually once you start it, the rest is pretty well to follow. But you could see how it, it uh, just takes some time. Another example here, removing the back from the front. Sorry, trying to keep it in camera. Sometimes it's actually better to not have such a sticky um, transfer sheet and do this part like this than having to do it when you're actually putting it down because it might tear the vinyl if it's too strong of a transfer tape. Um, I will include a this transfer tape because it's going to be easier for you to apply um, and not rip the vinyl when taking the transfer tape off. Uh, it's just that this part is going to require a bit more work to get stick stuck to the transfer tape. But doing it this way is a lot easier than doing it the other way. Okay, now here is the very nerve-wracking part. Like I said, as soon as this touches the glass, that is where it's going to go. So make sure you have this where you want it right before it touches the glass. Make sure it's not all staticky and all that sort of stuff. What I like to do is hold it from each corner so it gives you a bit of a solid um, hold here. Uh, longer, bigger pieces may start flapping in on itself, so you just got to be very, very careful. Line it up to where you would like it to go. And let it hit the glass. I like to start in the middle and work my way out. to the edges. Okay, so we've got our horse on there. Just go over it with your fingers first, just to get it down, make sure there's no bubbles. Now, when you apply this, it will be two weeks before it is fully cured on there, so you want to be very gentle with your product. Um, you know, for two weeks after you apply this, just to make sure the longevity of the piece. Now, these are not going to be dishwasher safe. Um, I've heard that some, you know, that you can, but this design is very intricate and I would not trust it. I actually tested one glass I had and it did not go well. But again, I've heard that you could with a cold cycle and no heat dry, but I strongly advised against it. I only recommend gentle hand washing for these so to keep your product you know lasting a long time and not peeling up and all that sort of jazz. Never pick at it or anything like that either. So now what you want to do is I like to say low and slow and slowly start peeling that transfer tape off. See now this is starting to come up onto the transfer tape. We don't want that. We want it onto the glass now. So it's kind of like the opposite of what we did before. 
starts coming up on the transfer tape, press it down a little more, and then try and get it to stick. Sometimes you may need to kind of get your tool in there, hold it down first. You want to go very, very slowly, especially on a design like this, because it's going to pull up that line really easily. can be a little tough sometimes because, you know, when you're pressing down the vinyl, you're also pressing down the transfer tape, so it kind of counters itself. You just want to get it on that glass because you're going to press it down again even more. So, like I said, this can take a lot of finessing and some time. Just do not rush. Whatever you do, do not rush. Okay, so I'm now going to save you the boredom of me doing this the whole time, because this could take a while. I'm going to cut and come back. Um, I just kind of wanted to show you at least that first section of how slow this actually goes and how much time this can actually take. And I will let you know I'm going to start timing it now, and I will let you know exactly how long it took, but you can see how slow the process kind of is to get it down and right. So. I will be back. Okay, and there you have it. Uh, decal has been applied. Um, this took, I timed it, it took about 20 minutes to apply both of these together and get this final result. And here is the other version of application with the lighter transfer tape that I will include with your piece. And now you can see, since this is a much lighter tack transfer tape, it is not as difficult as that other one I was showing you to remove because 
this will actually stick to here better than it will stick to this light transfer tape. So I'm going to include this one for you guys and it will make your life a lot easier. And as you can see, it's much easier and better to have a light transfer tape here so you're not pulling on this vinyl if it does stick to this than, you know, just taking some extra work getting it off of the backing, if that makes sense. Um, I would rather spend more time getting it, pulling it up off the backing than taking it off once it's applied. It's just safer and less likely to ruin your piece. As you can see, look how much quicker I'm applying this one. I, as I said in the previous one, it took me 20 minutes. Um, I'm doing this now as I'm talking to you with the lighter transfer tape, the one that I will include with your purchase for this particular design. Um, it's just much faster and much easier. And there you go. Um, once you have it applied, now you want to just take your fingers and really press it in all over to make sure you get a really good adhesion everywhere. Work out any bubbles that there might be in there. But um, I mean, that's that's it. It's As you can see, it could be really tedious, but in general, it's pretty simple. It's just tedious and time consuming. And if you do mess up, you mess up and it's pretty much done from there. So uh, I hope this video has been very helpful. Um, like I said, again, these are not going to be dishwasher safe, they're not going to be microwave safe, and for two weeks I would be very, very gentle with whatever you apply this to, because it's going to take about two weeks for the um, adhesive to cure to the glass. Uh, you also want to wait at least a day or two before you rinse this again, um, you know, rinse your fingerprints and everything off of the glass um, from adhering it. So. There you go. Um, I hope this helps uh, apply your decals to whatever you'd like. And thanks for watching. So comment, subscribe, share, like, all that good stuff, and I will see you next time. Oh, and of course, thank you so much for purchasing from me if you have. It is so helpful, and it really helps keep me going and keep me doing more and more artwork and making more and more things available to you guys. So thanks again. I really appreciate it, and thanks so much for your support. I will see you next time.